All right, I've got another unboxing video for you today. Today I'm doing the TC Helicon Go XLR mixer. This came out uh, about this time last year, around November 2018. I picked mine up, I believe, February this year, so I've been using it for quite a while. I had this recorded for a long time, never got around to editing and posting the video, but there's no time like the present, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, crack and open the box. There's actually not a whole lot in this thing, really. You open it up, you've got the Go XLR. It's well packaged. Um, say that, I mean, if there were any flex, it's kind of spread across the middle there. I suppose that it could have been. This is just the USB cable. It's uh, like the normal printer one. I can't remember USB A to B or something like that. Um, and then in a little box on the side, you have the power adapter. This mixer does not get power from USB. It wouldn't provide anywhere near enough, especially with the 48 volt phantom power and everything this thing's doing. It can run heavy mics like the Shure SM7B, which I currently use. And popping it out of the box, it's wrapped in plastic. And as you can see, it was balanced in all that foam. There was no extra protection for the knobs or anything like that, but I don't think that the box would ever flex enough for that to be a concern. So there you have it. It's power cable, USB cable, device, and a user manual. So I pop it out of the plastic here. Let's set that back down. And that's more or less what it looks like other than the plastic over the top. The manual is pretty light on actual like uh, configuration. They have some useful videos on YouTube. But I feel like they could go a little bit more in depth with some of those. It would be useful. On the back, you've got all your inputs and outputs. You have on the right, there's power, uh, optical for consoles and stuff like that. The USB cable, which runs your computer. A line out, 3.5 millimeter headphone, a normal headphone jack for your headphones. A microphone input, which cannot be used at the same time as the XLR jack. A line in which could be used to plug in a phone for music or something like that. And then the XLR jack for the actual microphone. The sides are slanted and vented, uh, as you can see here, not much to look at. And then the bottom has a nice channel that you can run like a headphone cable, or in my case, a mouse cable underneath so that it doesn't uh, get obstructed or anything like that. And now like one of the best parts of unboxing anything, let's unpeel that plastic. First, we got to take off these knobs here. I didn't notice that originally, but we're going to go ahead and pop those off. And now it's time to peel it. Oh, yeah. And next, I'm just going to show you a comparison of the Go XLR compared to what it replaced for me. You can see I have this PreSonus 14 channel mixer with a tube preamp because I needed that to get enough gain with my Shure SM7B microphone. I'm running that and a cloud lifter. And the Go XLR can run the Shure SM7B all on its own, but I actually did end up keeping the cloud lifter and use it with it because I find that I needed it to get the full gain that I wanted out of my voice. I wasn't completely happy with how clean the gain was when I pushed it on the Go XLR. I feel the cloud lifter lets me get just a little bit cleaner sound out of my microphone. And here it is today. I forgot to clean it up before this video, but there it is in all its glory. Everything muted out. You can adjust all of the colors. Those numbers down the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, or down the center are for different uh, voice effects that you can have applied, or you can just throw on individual ones like micro megaphone, robot, hard tune, and adjust all of the settings on the dials there. It's super slick. Uh, the center sampler area, you have three channels of four samples a piece. So you actually have 12 samples you can play at any given time. And then you can see you got the, the mute. So you can mute your, mute your mic at any time, as well as you can beep out swears and stuff like that. It's a little difficult to use that stuff on the fly when you're gaming because your hands are on a controller or mouse and keyboard. So I don't really use that that much. But yeah, this is what it looks like in my setup today anyway. Uh, I really have enjoyed it so far. I'll probably do a full review at some point. This is just the unboxing. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, hit subscribe to get more of this stuff in the future, and I will see you next time, maybe even in the Twitch stream.